Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings. Have you ever heard whispers of Oklahoma Onion Smash Burger but had no idea what it was? Well friends, I have you covered. I've recently experienced the burger nirvana that is Oklahoma Onion Smash Burgers. And let me tell you, it is so good. In this video, you'll learn the secret to getting those ridiculously crispy burger patties, how to caramelize the onions to absolute perfection, how to build the ultimate Oklahoma Onion Smash Burger, and of course, I'll be sharing tips along the way. So are you ready to experience the burger nirvana of Oklahoma Onion Smash Burgers? Then let's get started. All right, team, let's get our hands dirty and craft these smash burgers. First things first, the patties. We want something with a good amount of fat, like 80-20 ground beef. Speaking of ground brisket, I've got a detailed video of how to grill a brisket burger on a charcoal grill. Be sure to stick around until the end of this video for that link. And while I have you here, make sure to like and subscribe. Not only are you supporting a small channel, but you are playing an integral part in helping the channel grow. Now, on to forming some perfectly smashable patties. I'm using a one-third measuring cup. This ensures all our burgers are roughly the same size for even cooking. With our patties prepped, we're ready to move on to what makes the burger different, the onions. When it comes to onions, I like to use either a sweet onion or a white onion. Cut the onions as thin as possible. Onto the sauce. Today we're going to make a burger sauce. We will start with cutting up some pickles. You could even use a pre-made relish. Next, we will add our dry ingredients, which are paprika, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Then we'll mix up some ketchup, mayo, and mustard. If you really like ketchup, add more ketchup. Or if you really like mayo, add more mayo to make it more prominent. The beauty of this sauce is that it can be made different each time. Once you've made the sauce, let it sit in the fridge for a little bit. It's time to get the griddle going and cook up the burgers. I have found that high heat allows you to create a great cust on these burgers. But before we grill the burgers, let's make some bacon. As you can see here, I have loaded up the griddle with some bacon slices. Once those are cooked through, leave the grease behind. Now most people would clean the grill first and you can totally do that, but I want to cook the burgers and the bacon to add just a touch of flavor. But we also need some bones, so let's toast them. Set the buns down onto the griddle. For an extra crispy crust, spread a thin layer of mayo to the bun and then toast it. Place some of the thinly sliced onions down in the grease, then add the patties. Use either some spatulas or a smash burger press, or like me, a bacon weight and some parchment paper. Since these are thin patties, there really isn't a choice when it comes to the level of doneness. You don't get to choose rare, medium rare, or medium well. Pretty much the only choice is going to be well done. And that is good, because these patties are thin. They're not going to be tough to chew. And by taking them to a well done, you get a really nice crust and a ton of crispiness. When it comes to seasoning the patties, it's really up to you. You can go with classics like salt, pepper, and garlic, or your favorite barbecue rub. You do want something that has a decent amount of sugar or salt because those are going to help build a crust. Today, I'm using Kinder's Buttery Burger Blend. After seasoning, let the burgers continue to cook. You really don't have to flip until the burgers are almost cooked through. This will create that great crust. Do a flip and then season the burgers again. Then add some cheese, which today I'm using American Cheese Signals. Once the burgers are cooked, remove them from the griddle, and let's take them inside to assemble. When it comes to assembling, it's pretty simple. Take the toasted buns, add the burger sauce on both sides, then add bacon, then the cheesy and crispy beef patties. I like to make mine a double, so I'm gonna add another patty here, add some onions if you want, and then throw on the lid. And there you have it, folks, a fresh of the griddle, Oklahoma onion smash burger that is just waiting to be devoured. All that there is left to do is to serve it up with your favorite sides. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like and subscribe as this is the best way to support the channel. Or you can buy me a coffee. I left a link in the description. And if you really like this video, check out the playlist suggested at the end. It features charcoal grilling recipes. There's recipe for chicken wings, for ribs, for burgers, for hot dogs, for meatloafs, and a whole lot more. For all types of great barbecue recipes, visit my website, smokybeginnings.com. And until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.